In January of 2023, Cisco announced the CCST Networking Certification. And CCST, that stands for Cisco Certified Support Technician. And I think this is a great first certification for people getting into Cisco or people just getting into IT. Or it's a great review of fundamentals for people that have been doing this a while. And if you look at Cisco's certification lineup, in Cisco Enterprise Certification, CCST networking is considered to be an entry-level certification, meaning that it's easier to take and get your first Cisco certification as compared to something like CCNA. And unlike the other certifications you see on screen, CCST networking never expires, and you don't have to have any prior experience or training. You can start at the ground level and build from there. And I recently took the CCST networking certification exam because I was developing a CCST networking course, and I thought you might enjoy a review of that exam. And I'm going to be very careful not to break any non-disclosure agreements. The information I'm sharing is either my opinion or information that Cisco or the testing provider has made publicly available. And I'm going to rank this certification on several different levels. The registration process was actually smooth. However, it's a different account than you might have typically used for a Cisco exam. You go to pearsonview.com slash Cisco to register for something like CCNA or your Encore or your NARSI exam. This is still a PearsonView site, but it's certiport.pearsonview.com and it's a different account than you typically use. So I had to create a brand new account even though I've taken lots and lots of Cisco exams. As far as the cost, Compared to other Cisco exams, it's low. At the time of this recording, it's $125 US. And the difficulty I would personally rate as easy, and that's as compared to other Cisco exams, and difficulty is relative, some people will not find it easy, but I've taken many Cisco exams going back to 1998. And from my perspective, of all the Cisco exams I've taken, this has been the easiest one. And coming in a close second for the easiest Cisco exam I've taken, if anybody remembers the old BCMSN exam, that was the old switching exam as part of the CCMP route switch track. I took that exam about 20 years ago and it still stands out as a fairly easy exam, but I consider this one to be easier. Let me give you an example, and I'm not going to give you exact test questions because that would break the non-disclosure agreement, but let me give you a question of a similar level of difficulty. You might have seen in practice exams something like, at which layer of the OSI model would you find wiring? And obviously that's layer one, the physical layer. And a lot of people look at a question like that and say, well, that's way too easy for an actual Cisco exam. Nope, not on this one. You might have some questions at that level of difficulty, which is why I'm saying it is a relatively easy exam. And the duration is short. It's 50 minutes. And that exam duration of 50 minutes, that is listed on the CertiPort website. And they also tell us on the CertiPort website that the number of questions is somewhere in the range of 35 to 50 questions. Well, you can do the math here and you can see that you're only going to have about one to less than two minutes on average to complete a question. So that would suggest that you're not going to have a lot of questions that take a lot of time where there's a lot of reading or a lot of interaction. You need to be able to come up with these answers fairly quickly. And I think this is really a blessing and a curse. I'm glad that it's only 50 minutes because it wasn't as exhausting as a lot of Cisco exams are. But with the fewer number of questions, if you miss just a few questions, that could really hurt your score, as opposed to an exam with twice that number of questions. As far as the accuracy of the blueprint, I would rate that as excellent. Many times I've taken Cisco exams and there are topics that appear that are not on the official exam blueprint. And Cisco's response to that is they're allowed to ask anything they want. Well, the good news with CCST networking was I didn't find that. I did not notice any topics on the exam that were not reflected on the exam blueprint. That's something that I really appreciate about this exam. And also, what about the accuracy of the questions? Well, I would rate this as good. I've taken many Cisco exams where the grammar just isn't right. It reads sort of odd or there are typographical errors or questions that are just simply wrong, or questions that cannot be answered with the information provided. I would rate this exam as having a good accuracy of questions, and the reason I did not rate it as excellent is, I think there are a few questions that I encountered that were not accurate in all scenarios. And just to be completely transparent, the score I got was 930-something. The reason I didn't do better is that I went in with the mindset of taking 
a more difficult Cisco exam, as if I were taking an ENP or an IE level exam where I'm looking for the exception. Here's the way the question reads, but what if this happens? What if this happens? They didn't say this. And I'm looking for tricks in the question. I should not have done that with this exam. I encourage you to take these questions at face value. As an example, and this is not a question that I got on the exam, but it makes the point about overthinking a question. Let's say that we got a question that said, you issue the show interface trunk command on a Cisco Catalyst switch, and you observe that your trunking encapsulation is .1Q. Which of the following statements are true? And maybe one of the options, the correct option, was that the administrator has issued the switch port trunk encapsulation .1Q command. And in the mindset that I was when I took the exam, I would look at that answer and say, that's not necessarily true. If we're using recent versions of Cisco IOS on a Catalyst switch, then ISL encapsulation is not even supported, and it's by default going to be .1Q. Or I might think that this switch is using .1Q on the trunk because it was negotiated as part of DTP. And that would be the correct mindset to have for something like an NP or an IE level exam. But here, again, just take things at face value. If that command saying use .1Q is going to give you the result of the trunk using .1Q, that's probably what they want you to select. Even though, yes, there are exceptions and that's not a perfect answer, it's probably the answer they want you to give for this exam. So please do not go in with the mindset of being hyper alert to trick questions. That was the reason I didn't do better on this exam. And finally, how long does it take to get your official results? And I'm sure this is going to vary, but for me, it was about one hour. Now, as soon as I finished the exam, it told me on screen that I had passed, and it let me print out a report, but that was the preliminary unofficial report. I got the official report about an hour later, which I thought was a really good turnaround time. So overall, I'm a big fan of this exam. I think it's great for people just getting into the industry. I think it's great to go back and revisit the fundamentals for seasoned professionals. And I think this is going to help a lot more people come into the Cisco world. And to help with that, I just recently completed the CCST Networking video training series. It has 118 videos. It's fairly concise and tight at a little over nine and a half hours. And it has 14 quizzes. Those questions can be done online in a graded exam engine that gives you a score. And you can also download PDFs of each of those 14 quizzes. And those PDFs have detailed explanations as to why the correct answer is the correct answer. And even though it comes in at just under 10 hours, it covers every single topic on Cisco's CCST networking exam blueprint. And I wanted to make this training that gets people that first introductory Cisco exam, I wanted to make it as accessible as possible. So I put it on Udemy at the minimum price that Udemy lets me set, which means you can get it for less than 20 bucks US. And if you want to check it out, you can go to kwtrain.com slash ccst hyphen networking. Again, that's kwtrain.com slash ccst hyphen networking. And no matter what your level, I think you'll really enjoy this course. We get into some topics that I don't typically teach, things like Wireshark. And it gives you everything you need to crush your CCST networking exam. I hope you enjoyed this review of the exam, and I look forward to spending time with you inside of my brand new Udemy course. <music>